I always wanted to automatically navigate users to records after a screen flow ended, but I could never figure out how. So I found a copy and paste solution that does it automatically. To create the flow action we need, we're going to use a lightning web component from the Salesforce help site. The code for this component is simple and can be copied and pasted directly into Salesforce. The code is available from the help site at the link in the description. There are three pieces of code we'll be using. The first is the component markup. The second is the design resource. And the third is the client side controller. To start, we'll open up the developer console from the setup menu inside Salesforce. Then we'll click file, new, and then we'll click lightning component. We'll get a screen that we uh, need to name our component and we'll just name our component navigate to record using camel case. In the component section, we'll highlight all the existing content, and then we'll overwrite it by pasting our component code from the help site into uh, the section and press Control S to save. You'll know it is saved properly if the asterisk next to the component name disappears. Then we'll click Design on the right-hand side, and Salesforce will generate the design file for our component. We'll do the same exact thing here and just paste in the design code, and again, press Control S to save. Finally, we'll click controller from the right hand side. And after Salesforce generates the controller file, we'll paste in our controller code and save the component a final time. This lightning web component is deployable just the way we've built it here, meaning you don't need to worry about writing apex classes or anything like that. I believe you can create this component directly in a production environment, but as a best practice would not recommend that you do that. Let's jump over to the flow builder where I have a screen flow that creates a case. The flow is designed to be shown on opportunity records and lets users create a new case, after which Salesforce will then navigate to that newly created case. Everything is basically already in place. We just need to add our navigate action. We'll click the plus sign to add an element, and then we'll choose an action um, from the interaction list. We'll change the filter type to um, from category to type, and then pick core action. In the search bar, we'll type in the name of our component, navigate to record, and then we'll click the name of the component once it appears in the search results. Now we have to name the action element inside the flow builder, and we'll just call it uh, navigate to record. And the key detail here is that the record ID needs to be uh, passed in as an input. And this record ID needs to be set to the ID value of the record you want to send users to from your screen flow. Uh, that can be a newly created record, such as the case in this example, or it can be an existing Salesforce record that you used a get record element to find. As long as you can provide the record ID of the record you want to send users to here, you're good to go. For this demo, I'm just going to select the case record from my create case element. We'll save and then activate the flow. And now we can navigate to an opportunity record in Salesforce uh, to test everything out. We see uh, on this opportunity that our screen is here. And once we enter a subject and a description, followed by pressing the next button, a new case gets created and Salesforce automatically redirects us to that new case. And that's basically it. So I hope you found this helpful. If you liked the video, make sure to subscri subscribe. And if you really liked the video, join the Salesforce Saturday weekly email for more tips and tricks just like this one at the link in the description.